Today we're going to tie a crackleback trout fly that had developed in 1952 to be fished as a dry fly and a wet fly all in the same cast. It's an easy fly to tie. First I'm going to mount the hook in a true rotary vise. So the hook shank is parallel with the tabletop. Then I'm going to debarb the hook like this to remove the barb. Okay. Then I'm going to mount the thread using a jam knot, simple jam knot, wrap the thread one way, wrap the thread back over itself, and our thread is locked in. Then I'm going to clip out the waist thread like this. I'm going to select a furnace saddle hackle, which is a ginger hackle with a black stripe down the middle. And I'm going to prepare it by moving the feather fibers about two and a quarter inches down the hackle and clip the waist off. Then with the dull side of the feather facing me, I'm going to lay the tie-in point against the hook shank and make several wraps around the hackle and the hackle is now tied to the hook shank. That allows me to clip the waist off. The crackleback is two strands of peacock tied in on top of the hook shank at the end of the hook shank with thread wraps just as we did the saddle hackle. Now I'm going to cut out the waist and the crackleback is tied in. Next I'm going to select a turkey round and use the feather fibers for a total of about five as the fly body. I'm going to clip them off at the base of the round, which is the stem. I'm going to turn the married feather fibers together upside down, hold them in the magic pinch, tie them also at the end of the hook shank, just as we did the hackle and the crackleback using peacock curl. We're going to clip away the waist, and that's a step. Now we're going to move the thread, the tying thread forward up the hook shank to just behind the hook eye and we're going to secure it there with a whip finisher but only use two wraps. I'm using a true rotary vise so I'm going to move the rotary position over to a point where I can lay the bobbin in the bobbin cradle. I'm going to pick up my hackle plier and grab the body material which was the five sections from a turkey round and using the actuator arm and the rotator vise, I'm going to move the feather fibers forward, building the fly body. When I reach the end of the hook shank behind the hook eye, I'm going to tie them in with simple thread wraps. Now I'm going to bring the two pieces of peacock curl over the top of the fly, hold them in a position, and tie them in as a crackleback with two or three or four thread wraps. And cut away the waist. Now I'm going to use a security wrap, two wraps, using a Mattarelli type whip finisher to secure the material to the hook shank as we move on to the next step. I'm going to move the bobbin cradle back in position, lay the bobbin in the bobbin cradle, take my hackle plier, Go back and get the furnace saddle hackle. And I'm going to wrap it forward. One, two, three, four, five wraps. Remove the thread from the bobbin cradle. Wrap it over the saddle hackle with three, four wraps to secure it. To finish the fly, we're going to cut away the waist saddle hackle. Use our Mattarelli type whip finisher. To finish the fly head, one, two, three, four, five, and our fly is finished and ready to fish.